So this is a dumbbell pullover variation and it's a great way to build some eccentric strength between your ribcage and your pelvis. So that's some of your tummy muscles like your obliques and your rectus and the eccentric strength is then being able to lengthen while they're holding tension. So not like a, a lengthen and relax, but a, can they be strong when they're in a long position? Um, normal dumbbell pullovers ask you to stay this distance as the same and there's nothing wrong with those we're just looking at a different focus on the exercise with the other exercise you're looking at maybe building like a shoulder mobility on top of a stable platform this is looking to see if we can increase your extensibility of this area so i've got a 12 kilo kettlebell maybe you start with somewhere like five kilos um, Plates can be nice to hold as well. And you need a bench, because you need some dead space on both sides to be able to go into. So I start off with neutral here. Neutral just being that my pelvis is not completely uh, posterior tilted. It's not completely anterior tilted. It's kind of hanging out in the middle. Same with the rib cage. It's not flared up. It's not all the way depressed down. It's kind of in the middle. And then holding the weight above head, I'm looking to keep the tension in my tummy in here as I lengthen. So the weight can bend the elbows to start with a bit, or you can work towards straight elbows. Head's going down as well, and you're slowly dropping. And when you get to here, you're looking to also drop your hips down. The difference is that when I draw my hips down, I'm still trying to keep tight here. So it's tightness all the way, all the time. I'm not just going down and then just relaxing. I'm keeping tight through the tummy and I'm trying to pull myself into the position and then coming back up and back down and back up. So it's kind of like I'm trying to staple myself over the bench. I'm not trying to relax and let myself go across the bench. I'm trying to pull myself over the bench while creating a resistance through the front. Cut a few sets of 10, start at a reasonable weight, but you want to be enough to challenge, but not enough that you get in any shoulder pain or you feel like your neck's really working too hard. Um, you should feel through here and you might feel a bit of a stretch up in the upper back area.